Most plants I see are old enough to have leaves, flowers, maybe even fruit. But even before they poke out of the soil, plants look strange and beautiful and hold secrets about their ancestry. Take this bean, which I found in my kitchen, get it moist, and in a few days it sprouted a root, lots of roots, and wait a minute, it's pulled out some leaves and left its seed case just sitting there. And poppy seeds, which I just sprinkled on a wet paper towel, sprout these long stems with tiny leaves on top. Red popcorn, which somehow also made its way into my kitchen, sprouts just one leaf, sort of like grass, but bigger. That sort of makes sense, though, because corn is a domesticated form of grass. Thousands of years ago, people living in what's now Central America bred their local grasses so they'd taste better and be easier to harvest. So at this point, I'm wondering, what about other plants? And I set up lots of moist paper towels with different seeds in them. Can we find patterns about which seeds grow similarly and guess which ones are related to each other? Here's the first pattern I noticed. Cucumber seeds first extend a root, then pull almond-shaped leaves out of their seed casings. Pumpkin seeds are bigger, but they grow the same way, first poking out a root and then pulling out their leaves. Do you want to see that again? Here are the cucumbers. And here are the pumpkins. And I looked it up, and they are related. They're both members of the Cucurbitaceae family. That bean I grew also pulled its leaves out of its seed, but its seed and leaves look different from cucumber and pumpkin. Beans are in the legume family, but it turns out another member of the legume family grows quite differently. These circular lentil seeds don't get pulled out of their seed casings to form leaves. Lentils, it turns out, extend these small ragged leaves and leave the bulk of their seeds underground. I was pretty surprised by this. Somehow, even though beans and lentils are in the same family, they face different selective pressures and grow differently, even as seeds. I looked it up, and it turns out lentil seeds are called hypogeal, which means underground. Actually, the red popcorn is also hypogeal. Even though the lentil sprouts with two leaves, a dicot, and the corn sprouts with one leaf, a monocot. So we can't just look at whether seeds are hypogeal or not to find out which ones are related. But let's look for more patterns. Look carefully at how these radish seeds grow. See the shape of their leaves and how they pull them out of their seed? They may not look that exciting, but now let's look at how these Brussels sprouts grow. Pretty similar, except without the red color in the stalk. Now let's look at kohlrabi. Oh, they all grow exactly the same way. These heart-shaped kohlrabi leaves look the same as these heart-shaped Brussels sprouts leaves, and these heart-shaped radish leaves with the reddish stems. Actually, these three plants are different domesticated varieties of the same genus, Brassica. No wonder their seeds look similar, though I wouldn't have guessed it before I saw their seeds. How do you think these long, skinny seeds will grow? I think we'll just have to test it. It looks like they're sticking out a root and then pulling long, skinny leaves out of their seed casings. It reminds me of how the almond-shaped cucumber and pumpkin seeds pulled out almond-shaped leaves. Perhaps that's what you would have guessed. But now I'll show you something I couldn't have guessed before I saw it. It was so weird that it even confused me once I saw it. How do you think these beet seeds will grow? Let's take a look. Wait, some of those seeds have more than one root poking out. Some of them have more than one set of leaves. How could that happen? I was really perplexed by this until I realized that each seed is actually a clump of several seeds bundled together. That's how each one grows multiple saplings. I guess seeds can be really unpredictable. I find myself collecting strange looking seeds that I see outside. Look at these. They're almost like a pine cone, but with clumps of hair, so each seed can go in the wind. Who knows how they'll grow? But if we look closely at how these seeds grow and look for patterns, we may be able to uncover secrets about their ancestry and relatives. 